What it do with your boy Drew Blue back at it again for another vibe out sesh. Ow! Today the lone wolf will be tackling fashionably late by G.O.D. Released in 2013 as a 10 track EP. G.O.D. has taken a huge, like a huge step in evolving his stature as an artist compared to the previous record that he worked on two years ago in TOTB. This is only the beginning. Uh, this is really where I felt G.O.D. was on another level. And technically, this was the first project I checked out by him. And ever since then, I've really been fan of his music simple as that like i really do enjoy listening to what he's got to put out man i really dig his song i dig his styles i mean it's it's something really worth listening to so like i said we got 10 tracks here i don't want to waste any more time let's get into it y'all already know the drill in case you don't know this is where i usually cut the chat get in the track and vibe out the track number one I mean, perfectly speaking, best intro title right here, Growth. Let's get it. interesting i think cole made this happen as well as kendrick um respectively with their projects good kid mad city that was what got everyone crazy and i felt like after that dropped in 2012 everyone wanted to make something similar to that some kind of story where everyone kind of feel like oh you know this is really what I gotta go through in reality, you know, worry about getting shot. Don't know if you're gonna live to see another day. A complete 180 from like what music was three years ago or like how G.O.D. sounded two years ago where he was just doing nothing but just hyping you up and shit like, or not hyping you up, but hyping his his crew, the chef boys and himself up, you know what I mean? Like saying we the best, I'm gonna be the best to ever do, that's the goal. You know, it's cool. Very similar, like I, the way I see it, he's very similar to Tory Lanez in terms of how confident he is in what he can do. He boasts what he's going to do and then he's going to try to follow through with it. Now, this is where I really, I feel like, kind of similar to what Tory does with his wavy genre. Like, Geo, in a sense, kind of like bounces around and tries to mix certain genres together like more than one genre will probably appear on our production and he's cool with that but what's most important is that I like that he has his own style and he's kind of has his own swag here and it's pretty dope like I said it kind of represents his city strong in a sense that they're prideful boastful but they still got a certain sense of swag to it and 
<laughs> they keep things simple, which is why I think that's why Boston has been considered title town and you know in the sports department for like the past 20 years or so. You know, I mean that same mentality you could see it be displayed on here. Kind of like I'm giving you guys the final thoughts, but really you guys will feel this. I mean, already track number 1 growth. You just hear him like he's definitely more in tune lyrically like his storytelling now it isn't like how it's like a wandering off path like how um what's it called um just split my, just split my mind stage fry part two where you like he goes one way and then kind of goes another way it's kind of like scattered around here he's kind of like taking his time more like leading you into the story where he's trying to get at very similar to how Herbo does his storytelling or when he goes on his own type of like what's on his mind and what he's speaking on very similar and like I said this was dropped in 2013 guys so keep in mind like just around the same time Herb and Bibby was coming up too but at the end of the day we don't know what Gio went through so like I'm not here to say that he's biting on trends but I'm just saying and I'm making it clear like he came up at the same time as they did in a sense with this music but like you don't know what he's kind of going through with from the last time he dropped that mixtape to now where he's at because he felt like he couldn't be successful there could have gone through some hardships and all that i mean song trying kind of shows you that you know they were really trying to do it you know so i'm gonna just put respect to that but yeah i just want to give you guys a quick up for the production uh i want to say in fact, I should be able to give you guys, let's see, we got one, two, three, four. So, 60% of the songs on here, which is basically six out of ten, are completely and solely produced by David Green, which is a welcoming addition because he definitely did get my Category D spot in the last episode when he did well connected for um god um from totv2 uh number one my apologies so i definitely like how david green does his production the way he lays his 808s especially if he's doing samples or some type of vibe so and knowing that he definitely produced 60 percent of the tracks on here now gives me a number one re like a major reason why i really fucks with this record so much man like he's produced some of my favorite ones here he didn't produce the first one which was produced by andre solid production there by andre no doubt about it but yeah i'm gonna you guys are gonna be enjoying the next songs coming up in fact he's gonna be producing the next two tracks so keep that in mind starting with track number two ordinary <laughs> can't wait for this one let's get it <laughs> I'm so faded, so wasted. Time is wasted, I have no patience. I'm sick of bomb bag, give me a day of race. She's sick of no gin, got a shit face. Bad bitch, on the bomb. And I never can't wait. Frosted, all over me. It ain't even my birthday. Come taste the cake, come get it, girl. Let me introduce you to my world. Chase on and supernatural. Fuck your feelings, I'm prideful. I make real shit, cause y'all lie to me. I'm beside you, but your girl don't think so I slide through. I stay true to myself, that's on my mother and Bible. Music is my idol, we ain't got time to make Bibles. Chef, chef, boys, bitch, you know who we got so 
can't get down low we cousin T E and toes Mommy, drop it down low, you get old for me Now smile for the camera and pose Don't be like, wow, wow, wow. She pop pussy like that Said she love my swagger And she said she love my style I tell her, baby, let's go to the bed And then I break it down She say, okay, then I'm down and rob Cause I'm like, yo, she got me all over Hold up, 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 Grab this hoe in there, we smoke up, smoke up. And you, and you gon' fuck me like I got you from the corner, the corner. And hey, all of my niggas, I'm in here, body, body, wild and style. And none to your girls gon' tell them all about it. Say, hey, hey. Girl, they ain't no ordinary niggas. I just wanna spend the night with them. I can see some things, y'all ain't seen me wrong. Once you get a taste, you got once a song first came out I always that that flute was very contagious man and that flute just comes in and does its thing man duh, duh, duh. like just the timing was really dope and then G.O.D. comes in here like I said in a pre previous video like if I was really to put him into like just to pretty much summarize everything about his style in a bottle he definitely carries that drizzy swagger. I carries that similar tone that Kid Cudi does when he goes off in his, you know, in his sick moody vocals. And uh, it's not as strong or like not as like exotic as Kid Cudi's, but you can tell like it sounds somewhat similar. At the same time, he's cool, calm, collected, and comes in like Wiz Khalifa, with just a bit touch of that, you know what I mean, so like, but that's just really like a couple of things I see similar, but I still think he's his own dude, you know what I mean, dude can come in and kind of just rap, but like I said, uh, he's really starting to discover that he can actually try to sing a little more, something that he was reluctantly, you know, doing in the first tape, I think, and now you kind of get more more of a feel with this and then eventually he's gonna start playing with out of tune and when he does certain things that he does with this sounds really really good but that will be in the next episode when i cover totb2 on another day <laughs> all right so that being said let's go ahead and get to track number three timbos and 45s mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Featuring Reese of two nines. <laughs> Get ready for some bars, yo. I had a dollar and a dream And now it's money huddles with my 
team. My baddest chick, break down in some lane. I'm country hopping, Paris, selling in Paris. All right, I'm leaning like the Eiffel, shot it like a rifle. Four or five, my niggas with me, Duchess and a cypher. I be picking up, I might be. Feel the short and mileage, all the fishes in the sea. But my ladies take the Pisces. I get it, I get it. Y'all just let me live. Got bottle after bottle. Sunday night to live. So at this point, when I was playing through this the first time, I felt the brother had a triple crown, man, right here. First three tracks, solid, golden. I mean, from growth to ordinary, so Tim Bills and 45s, which to me, like I said, the increase was just getting better and better and better. The first track was a bit ambiguous, somewhat subtle and, you know, and kind of like in track with where you're trying to get at as far as like what he's trying to talk to you about like you can definitely follow him that's what i'm trying to say like you can follow him a lot better on the first track compared to per se stage fright part two but then ordinary comes in then you kind of get a much more of a clear simple picture where he's getting out with that song he's obviously telling this girl hey we ain't no ordinary nigga. Come see what we about. You know what I mean? Basically on some Playboy shit. But, um, well, then again, maybe he's not on some Playboy shit. Maybe he's just on the player shit. But either way, um, track number three, Timbos and 45. That's where we get really tough and gritty. And this is where G.O.D. so far delivers his best verse right here. Cold as fuck. Man, cold as fuck. <laughs> like, he was dropping subliminal bars. Like, not even subliminal. Like, just right there for anyone to hear bars. Like, that was solid bars right there by um, Geo, man. Straight up. Dude, like I said, he took the not, he took the extra step forward and became an even better lyricist and rapper. That's what I'm going to tell you. Ain't no stopping. Like I said, he keeps doing this, man. <laughs> he gonna be talking like Kendrick and J. Cole did him on their projects where they blew up and they went crazy. I mean, all it takes is repetition, practice, and continuing to do it. Next thing you know, it'll become second nature. <laughs> so, um, let's get to track number four, Mercedes, the one featuring Reem. This one's produced by Noah Beats. God, that, and that beat by that that Timbos and 45 beat by David Green was just oh damn that's a damn good beat damn good beat I mean perfect for <laughs> these two cats recent Geo to step in and do their best man like you set them up good bro all right track number four <laughs> And if a nigga step up, we will hold our own. No drones, no clones, we be a personality amongst the stone. To the day we ride in pearly benches, then our hearses to the gates of heaven. We came, we saw, we conquered as we rise to become gold. Amen. 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 I said, 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 I said
I like that. Definitely a throwback to the uh, East Coast lo-fi sounds, man, from the 90s. So, yeah, definitely G.O.D. <laughs> crossing through with, like, hey, New York. Mind if I borrow your sound for real quick? Did that right here, flipped it. Hey, so Noah beats solid job on the production. Reem, unlike the previous um, collab on T.O.T.B., didn't get a verse to rap on, was just working on the hook. I mean, it's cool. That means we got two verses of G.O.D. And G.O.D. had some interesting lines here. You know how he's like, ain't no nigga can do it like me. Mike Tyson, they just want to bite me. <laughs> he had to say that twice to make sure he didn't sleep on that. But there's one more line. I got to play one real quick. <laughs> there was something there my face is blank that's right after that no, I, tell, I tell my tank I thought he was talking about like my face was blank I thought it was something about at first my initial guess was he was talking about blank notes like money <laughs> but then I thought about was he talking about a vasectomy <laughs> but that wasn't the case at all. <laughs> I just overthought that motherfucker shit. <laughs> oh, this big rig motherfucker want to do a wheelie. Okay. <laughs> I got you, nigga. Okay. So let's move on to track number five. Now, this is definitely my category C song. Oof. Favorite production right here. Favorite. That's that's no knock on everybody else. It's just I love this song, man. Just for the fact that it just gets you in the vibe, man, and you just feel it. Track number five, Notice Us, featuring Nick Gray and Cam Eakins. In fact, get the colors right. Showing up, so 
as I think about all these songs here. I gotta say, this is definitely my favorite song. I never thought about what was the best song off this tape. I mean, off this EP, my apologies. Because there were some songs I liked, man. Like I said, it's like, like I said, Boston's about that. Like, you get that cold weather, but yet, they don't let that shake them. Like, the snow is just, it's like, they get that calm mind of, like, watching snow flow. Like, that's just how the production feels here. It's cold, but you see the snow fall down so gracefully, man. Like, that's how it feels when I'm listening to the production. And you get that feel like it's Boston music, man. That shit was so cold, bro. I... I, I can't help but show love to that man. Love and respect. That's why I'm saying I love this song. I don't give a fuck. Like, I gotta put respect to it, man. This song was clean. Nick Gray, in my opinion, was phenomenal. Um, and Darnier stole the show from the main artist here. Darnier. All right, first was already the catchy hook. But then the catchy bar, like the first bar, having him come in with the first bar actually was kind of a smart move because then G.O.D. can come in and do his second verse and doesn't feel like he has to be outshined, you know. So Nick Gray does his thing, stunts, cool, come in. Now you're like, okay, we're going to just wait for G.O.D. G.O.D. comes in and has a really interesting take, man, with the second verse. I like how he did it. Um, once again breaking down the storytelling basically how um <laughs> remembered all back in the days and shit you know so you know about <laughs> him getting that spank who knew that spank as weapons will get him <laughs> that line was hilarious man you know what i mean um but yeah like him just kind of having a reflection of where like how far he had to come through to get to where he's at now you know what i mean just it's just a 